Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Tim Hammy for Simply God in Burlington, Kansas. How are you doing this wonderful morning? Let me invite some people in here and we'll get started just in a few seconds as I try to find my other groups and we'll get started. Hope you guys are doing well. It's Monday morning, so welcome to Monday. Good morning, Mom. Good morning, Dean. Good morning, Clifford. Hope you all are doing great. Dealing with Psalms 119, 105 this morning. 119, 105 this morning. So reading this this morning, just a lot of thoughts went through my mind on this verse. It's a short verse, a very short verse. And uh, not, the, not the shortest verse in the Bible. And uh, shortest verse in the Bible is Jesus wept. And uh, here's what this verse says. I want you to hear it. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. And so just thinking about this verse this morning, I, you know, the word is a lamp to my feet. Okay. And a light to my path. So getting direction. Good morning, Miss Allison. Getting direction for your life. Getting wisdom for your life is your word. A light direction for the, the way you're supposed to go. You know, always understanding what the will of the Lord for your life, um, praying the will for your life, guidance for your life. Even throughout each day when you wake up, you know, you walk into uh, your new week and you're like, okay, God, what am I supposed to do this week? How am I supposed to be? And sometimes, you know, uh, uh, directionally challenged you know, uh, GPS, using GPS, um, uh, often um, traveling, feeling lost. I don't know if you've ever been on a trip somewhere and you're driving, even with a GPS, and you get that weird feeling in the midst of your stomach or your thought, and you're like, I think I've, I'm lost. I'm not sure... I know where I'm going. And all of a sudden you come to a place that you been to this place before, but you not sure. And so I'm like, okay, I think, okay, I know where I'm at. It's that moment that you realize that you have been to that place before. See, that's kind of like God's always with you because he is, and he's directing your path because he is. But you have to submit your will to his will, and he's guiding you. But how do you do that? You get into his word and you pray. So, God, my will is connected to your will. Every single stretch, every single step. And, and so, your word is a lamp unto my feet. I always, when I get on a plane, they always sit, talk about if the plane goes down, the I always will become illuminated. Well, you know, if the plane's going down, I'm not going to worry about the aisles being illuminated. But why is it so important that they say that? So you know where the exits are. You know what? The aisles are illuminated because God's directing the way your life aisles are illuminated because he's directing the way that you're supposed to be going. The way that he's directing your path, the way that he's guiding you, the way that he's directing you, the way he's leading you, the way. And, and here's, here's the huge part of it. The big question is, are you going to be obedient to that direction, that guidance? Or are you just going to say, oh, 
I don't need to be worried about those illuminated aisles. I'm just going to walk my own path. And then you're going to go down but with a ship. And you're going to be out of the, the will of the Lord. And you're going to be not in a good place. And so your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. And so as we go through life and you're like saying, well, you know, my way is always seem to work out for me. It works out for a time, but then it just, then you're like, well, guess today is a bad day. Well, you know, if you continue to go your own direction, it's not going to work out. Guaranteed, especially if you're a follower of Christ. If you're not a follower of Christ, you can do all whatever you want. But the Lord wants you to follow his way, his path, his direction. And so know this, that his way is perfect. His way is right. And uh, when I first, uh, first decided, I tried to not follow his will. And I went to a, not a Christian college. I went into the military. I tried all these different things, but now I, it got me back on the illuminated path. Uh, his path, it sounds like I'm new age, but it's not. I'm just trying to use that airplane illuminated aisle. But uh, <laughs> so just getting back in line with your calling, his will for your life his direction for your life. And God's always directing you, but you have to choose to be obedient to what he's calling you to do. And, and he always has a plan and a purpose for you. Jeremiah 29 11, just read it. It says, I have a plan for you, not to harm your, and, and just read it. It's, it's a good pa pl passage for you. So get out your notebook, write this verse. It says, Psalms 119, 105 says, Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. And uh, write that verse out. Put a O, observe it, A, apply it to your life, B, pray. So let's pray. If you have any prayer requests, go ahead and put that in the common area. We're going to pray for it. And uh, I just believe in God for big things today. Amen. All right, I'm going to start praying, and if you have a prayer request, we're just going to add to it. Lord, I thank you. Thank you for today. Thank you for how good you are. And Lord, we love you and praise you. Lord, would you just bless today? Lord, would you heal our land from this COVID? Lord, I see the, uh, the response of our prayer request, Lord God. The COVID uh, uh, numbers are starting to go down. Lord, I thank you for that. And Lord, I do pray I steal the healing of our land. Lord, I also pray, Lord, for wisdom for our government, Lord, each and every day that you do something great. I also pray, Lord God, that you help us to be a blessing to those that we come in contact with. And Lord, I do pray that, Lord, that you uh, give us the opportunity to share the gospel with somebody today. And Lord, I thank you for my friends. I pray that you bless them. Lord, I pray for Paul as he's getting the uh, vaccine today. Be with him, that Lord, that you just will uh, just help him as he gets it. Give him peace and uh, bless him, Lord. And Lord, I thank you uh, that you provided that for him. And Lord, I pray that you just, uh, Lord, may we just uh, do what you call us to do. And Lord, we just give you this day. Lord, may we walk in your way, in your plan and your purpose. Lord, we love you and praise you, Lord, in your name. Amen. Have an amazing day. Love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow morning at 630 uh, tomorrow and uh, for another uh, devotion. God bless you. Have a great Monday. We'll, we'll talk to you tomorrow. God bless you.